Lab, this is Terry, and on the bench we have yet another 5F1 Champ kit that was built and didn't work. Kind of getting a pattern going here, guys. Let's take a look at this one and see what's up. Well, here she is, a little 5F1 kit form Champ. You can see we got a lot of wires here, a lot of things going on. Now, the last one that I worked on had the stock. 470 ohm resistor here that was baked. This one has a 500 ohm 10 watt resistor. It looks fine. It's big, but it's not baked, right? But the guy told me this thing is dead and he had it in and out of here a couple of times trying to troubleshoot. It got fed up, shipped it up here to me. Now, after I put in the resistor on the one in the previous video, it still had no output and that was because the 12AX700K resistors here feeding the plates didn't have any plate voltage because it was missing the jumper. And guess what? I don't see it here either. So let's get an ohm meter and see if we have anything from those 100Ks over to the 22K resistor in the power supply that feeds it. All right, so I know this is kind of difficult to see, but there's a 22K resistor here between these two filter caps. And that is supposed to feed the 100K resistors here. So if you take your little ohm meter, go to the center point of those 200Ks, you better have continuity here. And guess what? We don't. Missing the jumper. So, you know, I thought, man, this is getting to be a real mystery. So I got on Mojo's website, took a look at the schematic, and also took a look at the wiring diagram that they provide and it does clearly show a, a wire that should be going from here over to here. The funny thing is, is all their jumpers are kind of a yellow hash mark, but that one's green. And I think that's probably throwing you guys. So here's the diagram. Take a look. You can see what I'm talking about. I'm pointing right at that wire. For some reason, it's getting overlooked. So when you build these kits, guys, take a little extra time make sure that that layout diagram is correct. You know, you can wire these things pretty well by just following the layout diagram. But you know what, if you miss one wire, the amp's not gonna work. Tubes are installed. I'm getting ready to power this thing up for an initial check. And yep, it's got my favorite JJ tubes in it. So I'll keep a careful eye on them, make sure they're gonna cooperate with me. But the other thing that was kind of odd is I noticed this gigantic output transformer. Normally, you know, it has like a standard little 5 watt single ended transformer. And I saw this big monster. I saw this brown wire and I thought, oh man, is this a push-pull transformer on this thing? But no, it's actually just a big monster heavy duty single ended type as an upgrade. So we're going to leave it in for the initial test. And then afterwards, I have another power transformer and some other upgrades that the owner wants me to do, including, you know, getting things neat underneath. But first off, I just have to know, is the amp fixed? I've brought the amp up on my Variac. I can reach in here and just pull back on the audio input jack. And usually, if you bring up the volume, you'll hear a hum. I'm getting absolutely nothing, okay? So that's not good. So the jumper is not the only issue on this one. So if we go to ground, take a look at that power going to the 12AX7s. There it is. And we have our plate voltage going to the output transformer. If I can get my probe on there. And we got our screen voltage. So power supplies look like they're there. Here's the cathode voltage. Oh, look at there got 219 volts on the cathode. Isn't that lovely? How much you want to bet that 500 ohm resistor is open? Let's check it out. So here is that 500 ohm resistor to ground. Now to ground, you can see it's open, right? But when you go on the 500 ohm resistor, it's not open. <laughs> so obviously we don't have a ground connection from the 500 ohm resistor to ground 
So the cathode is floating, and that's why we're seeing that high voltage. So guess what? There's another jumper missing. What I'm going to do is just install a alligator lead from there to ground, and let's see if it'll fire up then. All right, I got my additional jumper installed. Got a lot of wires going on here, don't we? Now let's go from that 500 ohm resistor. Should hook up my ground to the meter. That's a little more like it. Now we're down around uh, 17 volts. Now I do not have variac all the way up. We're running at about 90 volts, so there's like 100 volts. Let's see if there's any indication of sound coming out of this thing. Yep, it's there. Weak, but it's there. So it's amplifying. So at this point, I'm going to kill it because it's quite obvious that this amp is going to need to be completely rewired. So I'm pretty much going to get in here and pull out all this stuff, clean up the wiring, get these uh, leads of the transformers tucked away, get everything the way it should be, and then later on I'll give her a final test. But the intent of this video was to show you that once again, we have a dead amp because we had missing jumpers. All right, so you can see I've got quite the task ahead of me. The best approach at this point is pretty much gut it out, start over, make sure everything's clean, make sure everything's wired correctly, and then I will present a follow-up video so you guys can see the final product. But the takeaway from this video is, if you're gonna buy these kits, don't get in a rush, guys. Take your time, look over every stinking wire, make sure you get it correct, because really, the best case is they're dead, the worst case is they smoke. You don't want that. See you again.